Hello everyone, this is Moyar Mokresh, my nickname is Mark. We are doing this online presentation on behalf of our group members, Module Culture and Heritage, JKP1073. Those are my group members and I'm presenting with my friend AB on behalf. For this study we are using objective sampling techniques, we are using questionnaire, magazines, websites and the material offered by Lamidana. The main reason of this study to get a closer look at Malanao social and cultural background. The title of our presentation is Traditional House La Mindana of Malanao, Kampong Kutelian Mukasaro. Uh, first of all, I will start with introduction about Muka. Muka is one of the districts in Sarawak, Malaysia. It has 48,900 people. The majority Malanao. The village is in Muka district, located on the bank of the main river, which is called Muka River, like uh, Singai Talian, Singai Benaku, Singai Pitanakrad, and Singai Benipa. All those villages throughout Muka are mostly inhabited by Malanao people, rather than a few other tribes such as Chinese and Iban. talk about the origin of this word. One of the assumptions that Malanaos are the same nation as Ivan and Malay and the word Malanao referred to the mixture Malay, Chinese and Ivan. Another assumption that the word Malanao came from Mindanao which is a tribal name for the pirates who invade the Sarawak coastal areas. Another assumption said that the Malanao people belong to the ornamental tribe of Bourbons. Malanao people living in long wooden houses as any other tribe. But nowadays Malanaos have changed and influenced by the new lifestyle. So they are staying in home villages and they are following the pattern of Malays. Lamindana in Malanao Muka language means old home. Lamindana is a combination of visitors, lodge and cultural center in the same time. It's located in Talian village. It's about uh, three kilometers from Kampong Singai. Lamindana is a popular destination among Muka tourists. It was founded in 1999 by Diana Rose and her family. They have a lot of visitors, about uh, 4,000 people a year from inside and outside the country. The house in Lamindana is designed like the original Malanao home, using the best wood to maintain the integrity. Lamindana provides traditional dishes such as spinach, sago, mackerel, umai, pipi, and there is other activities that you can do there, like uh, boating, like walking around mangrove swamps. Try the traditional Malanao game, which is the Thai so Now I will pass to Abigail so she will tell us more about Lamindana Lodge. Okay, so talking about the Lamindana Boutique Lodge, as for the packages and trips, there are various um, customized holiday packages for visitors and tourists. Eventually, um, the purpose of customized holiday packages for tourists is to give the tourists to make their own choices and decide desired places for them to stay at there. The customized holiday packages are tailored to suit the visitors and tourists as for per night is around 180 US dollar which is equals to 784 Malaysian ringgit whereas for three days two nights packages are slightly expensive than the one night obviously which is uh, which costs around 250 US dollar of 1088.88 cent Malaysian ringgit. About the holiday packages, um, tentative table activities, there are great amount of programs, activities on different days, morning, afternoon, and night, such as long boat ride along the Talian River, visiting old Muka Town Markets, visiting Sapan Pulo Malanao Mini, is a mini museum, also Sunset Beach Walk, Photo sessions, these are all the listed activities and program. The fun part and the good part about this is that all these packages are included with a local tour guide um, straight from the Muka airport because from there tourists won't have to worry about losing the routes 
or like you know get lost so I think that's a very reasonable types of holiday packages that you would spend on the list of items such as handicrafts that are found in La Mindana what can I say about this Milano people actually do their handicrafts um, like using authentic materials using good quality materials to produce those handicrafts um, it is also for like home decoration purposes um, souvenirs and also as an artifact in La Mindana. Okay, so first is this gorgeously crafted patterns of Thurinda. It is well known for its amazing features on how the villagers, um, fishermen use for planting, fishing, maybe farming. And to do this Thurinda, it requires a, like a highly skilled people um, to do because it needs high skills and techniques to make a good weaving. Secondly, it's the Milano traditional costumes for both female and male. For the female, it is styled with a Brunei woven socket in black velvet. Um, with the Milano's waistband, sparkling necklaces, two sheets of red scarves on the chest, and a pair of rings and hat. As for the male costume, um, they usually paired it with um, a sangkulan dress, floral socket, stylish cutlery, and different colors of necklaces and bracelets. It's not only about the uniqueness of their cultures, but also the way they do, they make their traditional clothing and all those handicrafts are like has its own uniqueness. Thirdly is the batek linut, which is an imaginative way of producing textile designs using sago flour to produce poplin cottons, um, spun cotton, and also the silk and viscous cotton and therefore this fabric has a variety of colors, size, um, different patterns on the surface of the fabric and it is known to be wear on different kinds of occasions like special occasions during their festivals, Milano festivals and next is the Milano musical instrument they use this um, instrument in different kinds of occasions which just looks basically looks like a gong as people use this musical instrument this gong um, for the past all days and also today last but not least it's a doll which they call ballet which has been a decorative items and also it's as a souvenirs if you go to La Mindana they actually have a lot of these dolls um, hanged or put or like arranged on the table. This doll has its own uniqueness that is made out of fabric, sequins, beads and those um, fabrics, cotton threads that Milano used to do. Um, this doll actually has passed this down from old generations to generations nowadays and it is still kind of a famous thing and a nice decorative item. The Lamindana house is also known as the house of the living legend. It has been a place um, of tourist attraction for many years until today. Yes, um, there are still lots of visitors and tourists are visiting Lamindana to explore and to know more about the Milano cultures. In conclusion, we know that the Lamindana is built at Talian Muka, um, therefore is a traditional house um, that has that is packed with many types of handicrafts, special fabrics, traditional clothing, and weaved rattans, which are their specialties um, be, that the Milano people had made with the unique indigenous designs to conserve and preserve those handicrafts, so that the the next the future younger generations would be able to explore them and to know more about them, to learn and what to learn more about what exactly those arts and crafts are meant for. However, this is also a place um, for tourists to know more about the Milano cultures um, in real life. Like how is their real life status, how they do, how they make things work, um, especially how they make their traditional handicrafts in their unique way. And that's all for now. We hope that it gives you a quick, easy, digestive information about the Lamin the famous traditional Lamindana house. We really appreciate you for keeping us up until the end of this video and thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Thank you Abby. On behalf of all the group members we would like to thank you for watching and we hope we give you useful information.